हेलो कैड इंजीनियर्स एंड डिजाइन इंजीनियर्स यू आर ऑलरेडी एक्साइटेड अबाउट लर्निंग कैड ऑटोमेशन और डिजाइन ऑटोमेशन एंड यू स्टार्टेड लर्निंग इट आइदर एन एक्स ओपन और यू आर लर्निंग एनी अदर कैड ऑटोमेशन दैट इज परफेक्टली फाइन यू आर फोकसिंग ऑन द इम्पॉर्टंट टेक्निकल स्किल्स टू एडॉप्ट फॉर फॉर एडॉप्टिंग दिस दिस स्किल सेट्स बट डेवलपिंग अ माइंड सेट इज इक्वली इम्पॉर्टंट यू आर लुकिंग टू लर्न एन एक्स ओपन यू आर लुकिंग टू बी एन एक्स ओपन डेवलपर एंड यू आर नॉट फोकसिंग ऑन डेवलपिंग अ डेवलपर माइंड सेट इट मीन्स यू आर ड्राइविंग अ व्हीकल यू वॉन्टेड टू गो टू द डेस्टिनी बट यू डू नॉट हैव इनफ फ्यूएल इन युअर इन युअर कार एंड यू आर नॉट अवेअर अबाउट इट ओके सो माइंड सेट इज व्हेरी इम्पॉर्टंट एंड इफ यू वॉन्टेड टू नो how you can fix the mindset part then do not leave this video at all watch it till the end i am parametric krish and i am on a mission to empower mechanical engineers to improve the design processes using rx open programming so that they themselves can come up out of the busyness uh, in their work and as well as they can make the uh, positive impact in a design team that they are working by providing the benefits of using design automation using nx open programming okay guys so let's get started let's assume uh, you have been assigned a task and uh, during completing that task during uh when you start off and then you take up the that task and you complete that task there might be some phases that you go through maybe you pick up that task you get some info about that task you try to start working on that and then something pops up then you need to fix that you might need to get back to the uh, books you might need to get back to the technical resources maybe you will get back to your colleagues and find out how to fix that specific thing and then you start over again and this is how uh, you you come to the end and uh, you come to the stage where you finish that uh, work with with quality and here maybe uh, so this is might be a journey this is a typical journey you can see this is progress of your work uh, along the time so based on your understanding about that task you you Uh, look for the resources you look for the required info so that you can finish up that task and it it might not be a smooth journey most of the times okay but as a good nx open developer your main key objective is to remove the redundancy to remove the unexpected time spending okay and when you are focusing on this you are first priority to understand that task to the deeper level so that you can try to make this curve as smooth as possible which do not have any gaps which do not have any hiccups at all okay so this is this should be your first objective and how you can able to fill fill uh, to fulfill this objective is definitely by using the skill sets and along with the mindset so what skill set you focus while you learning if it is nx open then at that time you focus on learning programming you also focus on learning nx open then you fun then some uh, some other sub topics in nx open you also try to learn the best practices that will help you to write the better programs and also hands on so it is not hands one it is hands on so apologies for this type of mistake so these are the skills that you focus on and these are the this, and you try to get the mastery you try to get the expertise over this this skill set okay now let's understand the mindset part 
with some examples assume that you are working on drawings and you are checking the drawing quality definitely there are some parameters against which you check the drawing quality so what you do you have the number of drawings in front of you each drawing might have several shades again several drawing views and some information is there for you to review so you do this uh, reviewing uh, manually and you ensure that quality is up to the mark so this is how you do it manually okay but and uh, but uh, let's say you are already you are uh, parallelly learning an open skill set and you are a design engineer as well so as you are already learning an open your first job is to understand or at least observe what are the different things that you do as a cad engineer which are actually can be taken over by an open program if you are not thinking in that direction then you are not having the right mindset to become an open developer let's take the another example of assembly info maybe you are working on some assembly and you wanted to extract some information of uh, from this assembly for any reason so i am i am using very general purpose examples here so you are extracting some information that to manually putting it in a word file or in a in a document a procedure you are writing uh, for that or you are creating an excel where you are pulling all these values and performing some calculation so all of that stuff is actually purely manual okay but while doing this and while uh, though you are having expertise doing that stuff but if you are not thinking whether it can be automated and if yes how it can be automated then you are missing on learning the very important skill set you must think that how it can be automated if at all it is automated if, if not if it cannot be automated then definitely you must have a strong reason for that as well if you are not able to find that reason then again you are lacking somewhere which might not take you to the goal that you are having okay the another example let's say you have a design and you wanted to create a new instance of that design definitely there are different things that you need to do together to to arrive at a new design that is workable design okay but definitely design automation is not just limited to automating the cad activities it can do much more beyond just cad activities so you must need to understand the topic you must need to understand the power of design automation as a broad as a broad if you are not understanding if you are not having that level of understanding you must need to work to get that level of understanding because it is equally important to be uh, knowledgeable on a topic at a broader level as well as go deeper to the few specific topics to gain your expertise okay and the same applies to the geometry calculations because cad is full of geometry and there are few uh, situations where you need to work with the geometries so you also need to uh, think of what you are doing as a geometry preparation point of view whether it can be also taken care by a program that you can write so if you are working on any of similar uh, activities in your job and you are missing to connect the link between these activities with design automation then believe me you are missing on the very important mindset development part in in your learning journey and if you are missing that as i said in the beginning it's going to be the halfway journey for you because you started with uh, some destiny in your mind but your car is not having the enough fuel to reach there okay let's move on remember everything can be automated but first you need to learn 
how to do it effectively if you don't know how to do that particular stuff manually efficiently with all the details required to do that then definitely you won't be able to automate it uh in a perfect sense i would say maybe you will able to fix the patches here and there with your automation but you will not be able to automate that specific stuff as a whole and if you are not uh, if your program or if your solution is not working as a whole as a end to end solution then definitely it is not going to be that much effective so remember definitely you need to work the you you need to work on that task manually uh, you need to spend the time on that learning and understanding every piece of that activity first before you automate it but that is only one time activity okay the next time you will try to do it you shall think of how you can automate it and get rid of it so uh, there is one more parameter to check whether you are uh, an ex open developer by heart by by nature or if you are not of that kind of nature so there are three kind kind of people we can see around us one kind of people who are focusing on finishing early so they want whatever task is assigned to them they are very fast they are very good at what they do and irrespective of how they do it they are only focusing on finishing that early maybe finishing early is good but maybe you are not doing that efficiently because you are not focusing on how you can do it better you are again doing it fast but you are missing on the important uh important uh, process that needs to be fixed so because because you are not focusing on using the efficient process at all okay if you are little bit good if you are little bit smart than than this first stage of people then you can be a person who finishes smartly means you are smart you know it how to do it efficiently and you are doing it efficiently but you are not focusing on uh, whether you are really doing it repeatedly the same task you manage to do it smartly you are repeatedly doing that uh, task uh, manually uh, but you are not aware that you are doing something repetitively though it is smart but you are still doing it repetitively it means if if you are doing it repetitively it means that you are anyway using your time uh, which you may not need to really use you can use someone else time for example technology uh design automation is a technology you can use that technology uh instead of you to do that work smartly and if you are already uh, an ex open developer or already learning it and and you are you are, you are also working on the mindset part then you are at the third level you are at the, you are actually the person the third kind of person so you are automating it you also know how to do it smartly you also know how to do it effectively and you also have the skill set of automating it so that you can get rid of that task for life long you are getting rid of that task permanently because you have fixed it for for uh, uh, for life okay so this is the different stages of mindset uh as per me okay so what excites you out of these three if the automation is something that is exciting you more it means you are having the good mindset you are having the mindset that is required to be a good and open developer okay so now this is what i wanted to share with you if you resonate with the mindset part please apply that into your learnings you cannot 
be creative you cannot create uh, program uh, productive programs if you are not productive yourself remember this you cannot create productive programs if you are not productive yourself you are learning nx open you are developing few applications maybe you are working in nx open team but when it comes to doing your own stuff you are doing it more if uh, less efficient way you are doing it without any efficiency uh, you are doing it the routine way that any other cad engineer do who does not have the sense of uh, working smart then there is no use of working there is no use of being cad developer okay hope it it uh, it landed you uh, very well in your mind so what is the success model the success model is you learn all the required skill sets required then you also work on your mindset uh, remember those four examples that i gave you will definitely going to get lot of pointers from this video so i request you if you are not yet take the necessary notes from this so that you can apply uh, in your day to day job and fix the mindset part okay and the third is create a blend of skill and the mindset and apply your uniqueness that's it this is a very simple straight forward success model that can make you stand out from the other people using this skill set okay so i think i am done with the uh, all the thing all the information that i would like to share with you if you are looking to learn with me then definitely uh, it's possible there are several resources that you can take uh, uh, you can go through take advantage of these resources available to learn let me share you those those resources these resources are related to nx open learning i am going to give you the link of this site in the description box so there are several resources that you can go through in this uh, in this web page through this web page okay so the first is the ebook that gives you an idea about the nx open program this is useful for the people who are completely new to this topic there are eight nx open programs that you can learn even without any prior knowledge of program so this is the power of this book it is very sweet and simple book and also a short book that anyone can go through and understand the power of nx open then there is a few uh, short courses uh, that you can take advantage of one of that is design automation blueprint which is available on uh, udemy.com and the another course is block ui styler this is the sub topic within nx open but this is very very powerful and uh, useful topic to go through this is also available as a course in udemy.com you can go and take the take the course the the uh, the speciality of block ui styler is that you do not need to learn lot of programming to develop the uh, custom blocks using block ui styler okay and then there is uh, some some sessions as well knowledge session i started with the first of uh, one of the knowledge session which is based on programming essentials for cad automation and uh, in future i am going to add few more knowledge sessions as well so you can keep visiting this this uh, this site in future as well uh, so these are the resources uh, so far available for you to take advantage of okay and uh, that's it in this video uh, bye bye take care good luck